Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty Beyond 40. Today's video is a video that we've all been waiting for for a really long time. Even I've been waiting for this video for a really long time. It is my Nira Pro versus Lima laser video. I am really looking forward to going over these two devices and talking through all the pros and cons of both devices and helping you decide which one might be the best for you. But before we get into that, if you're new here, hi, my name's Trina, I'm 49 years old. I make videos mostly about beauty devices like these. So if you're interested in that topic, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram where I post a lot of sneak peeks of the new devices I'm testing. And I have a private Facebook group with over 30,000 members that's all about beauty devices. I will leave links down in the description so you can go check that out later. So there are a couple reasons why this video took me a long time to put together and I thank you all for being so patient. I am very meticulous and very thorough when I do these device comparison videos and so a lot of work went into this video. And the first reason is that I did very lengthy tests for both of these devices. I tested my Lima laser almost every single day for 12 weeks or three months. And then I tested the Nira Pro for 60 days or two months. And in between testing the Lima laser last summer and the Nira Pro test I just wrapped up uh, about a month ago, I did a Cosmolon chemical peel, and I've been doing that every fall to get rid of my melasma and hyperpigmentation. It's a very lengthy process. I have a whole YouTube video all about it if you wanna go watch and learn more about that, but it is the best thing I have ever done to lift and really obliterate all of my pigmentation from my face. So that I was doing in the fall, and whenever I'm testing devices like these, I am isolating results. And also my skin was healing from that chemical peel and there's no way I was going to put heat on my skin while it was healing. I have to do these tests when it makes sense with my skincare schedule and my other device testing schedule. So that's the number two reason. And then the third reason is that I wanted to make sure I put together a very detailed chart, which I have done. I'm gonna put that chart up on the screen. We're gonna review it together and then I will leave a link to it so that you can download a copy of it or take a screenshot of it on your phone or your computer or whatever, just so you have it on hand so you can refer back to it if you decide to shop either of these lasers later on. So I pulled everything together here in this chart. I'm gonna go through all of the rows of what I'm gonna cover. And if you have additional questions about either of these lasers, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. There are probably other things I know about these lasers since I have used both of them for a long period of time and continue to use them to this day. So if something comes up in your mind that I haven't covered today, please do let me know down in the comments. I compare Nira to Lima side by side, and I'm comparing the Nira Pro to the Lima laser since the heads are more similar in size and the Lima laser you use primarily, most people I think are using it on their face, same as the Nira Pro. I do have the Nira Precision with me today and this one doesn't really compare to the Lima laser in terms of the aperture. It's the same laser technology as the Nira Pro, but this I only use for my eye area, my hooded eyes, and then underneath in the area where I have dark under eyes. That's really the only place I use this laser. You can use this laser everywhere on your face, but it would take so long. So I'm not going to compare this today. The more realistic comparison is between the Nira Pro and the Lima laser. I do a comparison of the modality and technology of these two lasers, the cost, the time requirement, the skin concerns that they're treating, where can you use them, like where on your body. When I was filming, I skipped over what skincare do you use with these lasers and what skin tones are suitable for the lasers. So I'm just including it here in a quick voiceover. Is there any pain and what's the recovery process? Do they cause facial fat loss? That is always a top FAQ I get asked in every single video I make. Are they clinically proven? Are they FDA cleared? Where do they ship? What's the warranty? Is there a money back guarantee? And what are the contraindications? So we're gonna go through all of that today. We're gonna look at both sets of before and after photos for my pro from my 60 day test and the Lima laser from my 12 week test. And I'll talk you through those photos. And then I will tell you 
my final thoughts of what I recommend and what I'm going to do moving forward uh, with these lasers. And I'm really curious to see if you agree with me by the time we get to the end of the video. So first, let's talk about the modalities or the technology. Yes, they are both lasers, but the Nira Pro is a hot laser. It uses heat to heat up the water in the dermis, so deep in the skin, to stimulate collagen and elastin production to smooth out wrinkles over time, which plumps, smooths, and tightens the skin. The Nira is a non-fractional, non-ablative laser, while the Lima laser is a cold laser. It is low-level laser technology, or LLLT, and it reaches deep down to the base layer of the skin, and it stimulates tissue repair in the mitochondria and provides cells with more energy or recharges the cells. So instead of your cells dying off, it sends the message for them to wake up and it actually heals your skin over time. And the result is increased collagen and elastin, which rejuvenates, plumps, smooths, and tightens the skin. Both of them use near-infrared laser light but this one's going a little bit deeper to the base layer of the skin, and this one is going to the dermis. The technologies are very different, even though they are both laser technology. This is a non-fractional, non-ablative laser, whereas this one is low-level laser technology. If you have any issues with heat, definitely the Lima is going to be better because it is cold, and I actually was using this a little bit when I was healing from my Cosmolon chemical peel because it heals the skin and it doesn't irritate the skin, whereas I didn't want to put anything with heat on my skin because my skin was really raw. If you do have any issues with heat, the Lima laser is going to be a better choice for you. But a big consideration in the next row is cost. The Nira Pro is 600 US dollars. And if you use my promo code, you can save, and they often have sales throughout the year. So you can get it for a little bit cheaper than that. But the regular price is $600, whereas the Lima laser is $2,700 US dollars. So it's a massive price difference. So if the Lima laser is out of your budget because you can't afford a $3,000 device, then you don't even need to think about it anymore. Just get the Nira Pro because they both do work. It really just depends on all these other factors I'm talking about today. The time requirement is very different. The Nira Pro takes three minutes a day to do your whole face and five minutes if you include your neck, chest, and back of hands. Whereas the Lima Laser, they recommend using it 30 minutes to an hour every single day. And you can even add on more time if you wanna do some of the hold moves. So I was gliding it across my entire face for 30 minutes a day and then finishing my treatment by doing a three minute hold on my lips, a three minute hold on my 11s, on my crow's feet, a three minute hold on each of my jowls. So you can add in even more treatment time, but that's a big difference between these two lasers is how much time do you need to use it every single day. Now addressing the skin concerns, it's pretty similar. The Nira laser is clinically proven to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, but I use my Nira Pro to lift and tighten my hooded eyes, and this is still the best device I have ever used to lift and tighten my hooded eyes to keep my eyes looking really youthful. I also love to use it right here underneath my eye where it gets a little dark to brighten up that area under both of my eyes, and this takes me two minutes a day, so I keep using this every day. Users have also reported improved skin tone and skin texture and brightened dark spots whereas the Lima laser claims to address all of your aging concerns, like sagging, wrinkles, redness, pigmentation, scars, blemishes, spider veins, texture, tone. And both of these lasers do work for all of those concerns. However, I did notice the Lima laser was a little bit better at brightening up my spots or my hyperpigmentation or melasma. If you remember when I tested this over the summer when I was in Greece, my melasma and hyperpigmentation came back so intensely and I was really frustrated because it was in the middle of my test of this laser, but I stuck with my schedule and I noticed that as I was using my laser on vacation, I noticed that the patches that flared up really started to lighten up. And after I got home from my trip and I continued to use the laser, the areas really did improve much more than I had expected. So I think the Lima laser, for me personally, for the type of melasma and hyperpigmentation that I have, the Lima laser treated that a little bit better than the Nira Pro. Because I didn't really see 
much improvement in pigmentation from using this laser. But I didn't go on a trip and have a big flare up of my melasma. So I can't compare that one to one, but I can say that I was really impressed with how it really seemed to reverse that melasma flare up that I saw. The Nira Pro can be used on your face, neck, chest, and back of hands, as I mentioned earlier. And the Lima can be used anywhere on your face and body. So you could do it on your face, your neck, your chest, the back of your hands. You could even do it on your knees, on any spider veins you have on your legs, on any scar you might have on your body. So you can use this on your body. And they do have a lot of before and after photos on their website, and some of them include body, whereas the Nera Pro doesn't address anywhere on the body besides the hands that I've seen. So this can potentially treat more concerns and more areas on your body. Next is skincare. So you use the Nero laser on clean, dry skin. So it's really easy to incorporate into your skincare routine. I usually use the laser after I brush my teeth and I wash my face and then my skin is clean and dry. Then I use the Nero laser. Then afterwards I use their skincare to deeply hydrate my skin because I just use heat to stimulate collagen in my skin. And I wanna make sure it's really, really hydrated and nourished so it doesn't feel dry. And I use the hyaluronic acid serum and their peptide cream. So I use these together every time after I use the laser. I really, really like them. They're really clean, fragrance-free, they work really well. And this peptide cream has lots of great anti-aging ingredients. But the key here is that you use the laser on clean, dry skin so there's no messy gel. And then after you're done, you put on these skincare products and carry on with your regular skincare routine. So I really like that about these lasers because you don't have to put on some gel and then wipe it off and there's none of that messiness. So that's a really great pro about the Neuro Laser. Now the Lima Laser comes with a oxygenating spray or a mist and a glide serum, which you can see is almost empty because I've used so much of it. The spray really helps to oxygenate your skin and that's one of Lima's selling points is that as we age, not only do we lose collagen in our skin, but we also lose oxygen levels and the oxygenation depletes from our skin. And so by using the Lima laser and these skincare products, you can restore that oxygen to your skin and give you a more youthful appearance. I love using these, the spray and the serum, but then I also layer on some more serums and oils to provide more slip and to get more anti-aging benefits. I love to use my Cora's Velvet Skin Drink. I love how this is really slippery and just helps the laser glide and helps my skin really stay wet because I'm using it for 30 minutes and so I don't want it to dry out. And then I'll put on a face oil on top of that, like this one from True Botanicals. My face is like really wet. There's a four layers of product and that helps me to glide the laser across my face. So you definitely are using skincare with the device, but you don't have to use their glide serum in their spray. You can use any skincare product that you have that would help it to glide. So I would recommend using something slippery like this Cora's serum or even just a facial oil. You could just use a facial oil and just move the laser around. And if you're doing the hold method, you actually don't need to use any product. You could just use it on clean, dry skin and just hold it where you wanna treat it. Like if there's a spot you're going after or you wanna do your 11s or your lips, you can just place it on dry skin. So I really like that there's flexibility in the skincare you use with the Lima. And I also really like that you can use an oil because you're not conducting any current like with other devices where you have to use a gel so that you conduct the current to the proper level of your skin. You don't need to worry about that. So you can use any skincare you like. And more on that in a little bit because I have some thoughts on that. Skin tones, both lasers are suitable for all skin tones. And then the next row, pain and recovery. The Neuro Pro has no redness, no downtime, but it can be a little bit painful if you misfire the laser or you've got the comfort level set too high. There are five comfort levels on the Neuro laser and it can be a little bit painful if you've got it set too high or like sometimes when I'm using my Neuro Precision, if I'm not like paying attention for a second, it'll ping me with heat and it's uncomfortable. So there is a chance that that could happen with these lasers, but Lima is a cold laser. 
you don't feel anything. You might feel heat from the friction of moving it across your face, like gliding it across your face, but there is zero damage, no redness, no downtime, and it's painless because it's cold. You don't feel anything. So that's a consideration if you're worried about that. Both of these devices do not cause facial fat loss. You'll see in my face in the before and after photos, these do not affect facial fat. I do not use any devices at home that affect my facial fat. That's really important for me to maintain and keep all the fat I have on my face. So rest assured, these are not going to melt any of your facial fat, nor do any of the devices I use on my channel. The next row is very important because the Neura laser is clinically proven to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. So they've got all these studies and tests and before and after photos that prove this laser does work, whereas the Lima laser does not have any clinical studies. They say that there are clinical studies on the LLLT or low level laser technology, but not on this specific laser. I find that to be odd that they're selling a $3,000 laser with no clinical studies. However, they do have a lot of before and after photos on their website, and I have done my own before and after photos, which I will show you. So I know the laser works, but I don't think it's a great idea to be relying on user photos and user tests. I think that it would be great if they had clinical studies to prove the laser actually works, because then it would be a lot easier for me to confidently recommend this laser to you. I much more confidently recommend this laser to you because I know there are clinical studies. And if that is important to you, then you should stick with the Nero laser. But if it's not important to you, then you could consider the Lima laser as well. Next up is shipping. Nira only ships to the US, as far as I know. However, you can shop third-party sites like Current Body to ship globally if you're watching from outside the US. The Lima is from the UK, so they do ship globally. So there's no problem if you wanna shop this laser globally. Another really important factor is the Nira Pro has a 90-day money-back guarantee. So they're saying, hey, we've got the clinical studies, we know it works, we're offering you a money back guarantee. So use the laser every day, and if you don't see results or you're unsatisfied with the results, then you can send it back and get your money back. And the Lima does not have any money back guarantee. You spend almost $3,000, you hope it's gonna work, and if it doesn't work for you, you can't get your money back. And then lastly on my chart here, I've got the contraindications. The contraindications are listed in both of the manuals for the devices. So let's see, the contraindications for the Lima are, uh, don't use if your skin is light sensitive or you're currently using medication that may cause skin sensitivity to light. Doing so may result in a photosensitive reaction. Don't use over any areas associated with the following medical conditions, tumors or melanoma, overactive thyroid or fungal skin infections. Don't use under the age of 22. Whereas the Nira, I think, says for use only with ages 12 and over. Seems a little young, but that's what it says in the manual. I'm gonna list this all in the chart here so you can refer to it. Basically, the Nira says don't use it if you're pregnant, nursing, or undergoing fertility treatments. Don't use it if you have a history of skin cancer or any other type of cancer or pre-malignant moles, but I do highly recommend that you do your research before purchasing either of these lasers to make sure that it's suitable for you because it's a lot of money to spend regardless of which laser you get. Let's take a look at the photos. This is very exciting. Here's my set of before and after photos from my Nira Pro test. And the biggest improvement that I saw using my Nira Pro was around my eye area. My crow's feet were definitely smoothed out and improved. The eye area is the area that I see the most improvement in. I was really, really happy with the results. I also used the laser on my 11s and my forehead, but I didn't see much improvement because I don't have wrinkles when I smile in those areas. I saw a slight improvement in my jowls area as well. That's another trouble spot for me. Overall, the Nero Pro does work, and this is just from 60 days. Now, if we switch to the Lima laser, this was a 12-week test or three months. So I tested the Lima for an additional month, and the results are really subtle. I do see some improvement around my eye area and also around my jowls area. Those are my two trouble areas. And I know my face angle isn't exactly the same in these photos. And in the after photo, I'm smiling much bigger 
which you would think would show my wrinkles more, but because my eye wrinkles are diminished and my jowls look tighter, that really shows me that the laser did work because I'm smiling bigger, but my face looks better. And you can't tell from the photo here because my hyperpigmentation is pretty bad in both of them. But as I mentioned before, the Lima laser really helped to lighten up the melasma and hyperpigmentation I saw flare up while I was in Greece, swimming in the ocean, on a boat, being actively in the sun and in the heat. And it looks like it's really bad, but it actually is so much improved from what it used to be when I was in the middle of my vacation. So as I continued to use the laser after I got home, my skin did lighten up quite considerably. When I look at both sets of these photos, I think the Nira Pro works faster. It's just obvious. My eye area looks so much more improved after only two months and the results from the Lima took three months and the results are really, really subtle. And it's really hard to capture the change in your skin like this in photos. I did the best I could here, but I will say that from using both of these lasers, I would look in the mirror and I could see my skin getting better and better over time. And I know that they both worked on me, but I do think that the Lima laser will continue to show results over time the longer I use it. So now I wanna give you my thoughts on which one do I think you should get, which one do I think is better, which one am I gonna use? And I like using the Lima laser more. When I'm using the Nira laser, I have to stand in front of the mirror. I have to be really precise of where I'm using it and overlapping a little bit and making sure I get all the surface area of my face and my neck and my chest and my hands. You have to be really focused and you have to be looking in the mirror. And if you aren't paying attention, you can misfire the laser and it'll end up taking more time or it can actually hurt. If you place the laser over the same area of skin twice, it can hurt. So you have to really be paying attention. And the Lima laser to me feels like such a luxurious me time experience. I will put on all of the spray and the serums and the oils and then I can sit back and watch Netflix or listen to a podcast or an audiobook or even read and it's freeform. I'm just gliding it across my face and it just feels like such a nice facial massage. And some people commented, you know, hey Trina, do you think your skin looks so much better from all of the products you were using and how you were massaging them into your skin? And it's not even the laser doing it, it's just the skincare. Maybe, um, maybe that's the case, but I think the photos show that the fine lines and wrinkles are improved and my jowls are a little bit tighter and I don't think the skincare that I was using could do that, especially since I have a very lengthy skincare routine anyway. But I do think that maybe that glowy look that I would see could be from massaging this wonderful skincare with lots of anti-aging ingredients into my skin and just making it look a little bit more glowy because my skin was glowing while I was using the Lima laser. It just feels like a much more luxurious experience. Like even now, if I have 30 minutes of my schedule, I'm gonna use my Lima laser. Of course, when I'm doing a test for YouTube and I have to test a device, I work that into my schedule and I'm doing it because it's part of my work. But now that I'm not testing either of these anymore for a YouTube video, I don't always have 30 minutes to use the Lima laser. So if I don't have the luxury of 30 minutes plus to use this, I will grab my Nira laser because it only takes five minutes. So I'll do the Nira Precision on my hooded eyes and underneath my eyes in the corners here. Then I'll use the Nira Pro everywhere else on my face. I'm not really doing my neck anymore because I don't have any lines on my neck, although it will be really great for preventative purposes. I'll do a few passes on my chest to keep working on this area because there's a lot of sun damage on my chest. And then I'm not doing the back of my hands anymore since I finished that test because I didn't see the um, improvement on the dark spots on the back of my hands like I had hoped. So I'm using both the Pro and the Lima laser based on my schedule because I don't always have 30 minutes a day. And I do think that the Lima does more. I think it's healing the skin more. It's going to the base layer of the skin. It's doing more, but it's so slow. It takes so long to work that I wanna keep using it whenever I can, once a week or twice a week, just to see continued results over time. 
but I know that that's not realistic for me to do every day. So on days where I don't have the luxury of using my Lima laser, I'll use my Nero Pro. And I know that I can get this done every single day if I need to, because it's so quick. Now, if I were a lady of leisure and I was independently wealthy and I could do whatever I wanted, I'd probably get on a plane, fly to the UK and buy the Lima Pro device. Since that laser is over $6,000, but the aperture is three times the size of this Lima laser, so you're basically getting three lasers in one and it will cut down the treatment time by three. So if it's taking me 30 minutes to do my face with this laser, it would take 10 minutes to be done using that Pro laser. I don't have access to that because I'm in the US, but that's what I would do. If I do get that laser, I'll probably just use that laser, but I would still continue to use my near precision on my hoods because this is the only device and the best device I have ever used to lift and tighten my hooded eyes just because it gets right into my hoods and tightens up the skin right where I need it to. I tried using the Lima laser on that area and also the Nero Pro, and it just doesn't get in that area as well as the precision. For now, I'm rotating between the Nero Pro and the Lima laser based on how much time I have. I think I'm gonna continue to see really great results over time. And then also this summer, when I start to see flare up of my melasma and hyperpigmentation, which of course is gonna happen. It seems like when it gets hot outside or I get hot or I get exposure to the sun, I see really bad flare ups of melasma and hyperpigmentation on the sides of my forehead here and on my jowls and my cheeks. I'll probably use my Lima laser and at least work on the areas that have flared up a couple times a week. And I won't have to do the full 30 minutes if I don't have time, but I'll just work the areas where I see the hyperpigmentation coming back in and then I can use the Nero Pro for the rest of my face or alternate days. For me personally, I find that I like to use devices that don't require a mirror, that are freeform, that allow me to do another activity while I'm using them. I don't like to sit in front of LED panels because I'm sitting there with goggles on and I just, I have too much going on. Like I just don't have the patience to do that. I know a lot of people do, but I like to use a mask I can wear so I can walk around and do other things. I don't like to be using the neural lasers because I have to stare at myself in the mirror and I know it's over really quickly, in just a few minutes, but I don't look forward to it. And when it's time for me to use my Lima laser, I grab my little skincare basket and I sit in front of the TV and I get comfy. Usually I do that now at the end of my day, like when I'm starting to get ready for bed and then I'll use my Lima laser as part of my nighttime skincare routine. And it just feels like such a luxury that I look forward to. And I know my skin's gonna look really glowy from all the amazing skincare that I'm putting on. So I really do find that I like to use this one better. And I always say to everyone, the best device for you is the device you're actually going to use. So if you're more like me and you like to do freeform devices like the Lima laser, make sure you actually have the 30 minutes to an hour to use it. And you can set up an appointment with their concierge service to take a look at your skin and come up with a recommended plan for you. They might tell you to use it for an hour a day, just depending on how severe your wrinkles are that you're trying to treat or what your skin concerns are that you're trying to treat. But for me, it was 30 minutes with some holds like on my lips, for example. So that really works for me, but I really just like to use this better. And I find that to be the case with all of my devices. If I ever have to be concentrating and looking in a mirror, I just don't like to use it. However, just because you might like to use this one better, if you don't have $3,000 to spend, then it doesn't matter because it is really expensive. So you have to have the time, the money, the commitment to use both of these every single day. And a huge deciding factor for you if you're watching is if you care a lot about clinical studies and scientific data that proves that a device works, you have to go with the narrow laser. This is the one that has the clinical results, the clinical tests. There are not any tests for the Lima laser. So if that's really important to you, I don't think you should get this laser because you'll just be wondering does it really work? I'm not sure because the results are so slow. You might give up. You might get frustrated and give up and stop using it and then you'll think it doesn't work. And if you had those scientific claims to back you up, I think like for me, it would motivate me more to keep using it because I know it works. I just have to wait a little longer to see the results. So I think that's a really important factor, you know? So it comes down to 
which one are you gonna use and which one are you more comfortable with? I will continue to use both of these, actually all three of these. I'll continue to use these in rotation as part of my beauty device routine. So if you still have questions about either of these lasers, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to know, are you like me and you have both lasers and you're going to continue using them or do you have one or the other or which one do you think you're gonna purchase? Let us know so we can start a conversation down in the comments and see what everybody thinks because I'm really curious. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share with a friend, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!